Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video where today we are in the Rockies franchise episode 3 where today we're going to go ahead and head over into the following month of May. We have faced, we have played two games in April or actually I think we played one game in April but one game in um, March. So we're going to go ahead and skip over to May. Um, hopefully the Rockies are doing good here in the month of May. Um, let's go ahead and sim some games. After the month of April, um, it looks like Jordan Sheffield is having a not very good year in AAA. Um, at least in April, he posted a 4.81 ERA while issuing 14 walks in 24 innings of work. Sean Bouchard swung a hot bat in April, hitting 333 and driving in 11 runs over 63 at bats in AA. Kyle Holder raked in April, posting a 308 average in 70 at bats while driving in seven runs in AAA. Gavin Hallwell had a good month of April, posting a zero ERA in AA over 5.1 innings pitched while striking out four batters. Joe Rock, this is someone we need to keep an eye on here in April, posting a 2.1 ERA in AAA, collecting 22 strikeouts over 25.2 innings pitched. And after April, the Rockies here are 12 and 15, two games back of the division. The Dodgers are 14 and 13, Padres 14 and 14. Giants are also tied with the Rockies 12 to 14, 12 and 15, and the Diamondbacks are in dead last 9 and 19. The Colorado Rockies taking on the San Francisco Giants here at Oracle Park. The Rockies are 17 and 17 as the Giants are 16 and 18. Here it comes right after this. Coming up to the plate, Charlie Blackman taking on Carlos Martinez of the Giants. Giants just acquired him over free agency here before the 2021 2022 season, my bad. Blackman's had a good year so far, hitting 280 on the season. Hits this one down to right field. That one is going to be a double for Charlie Blackman. A good first year here with the Rockies by Chris Bryant. 292, four home runs and 18 RBIs for KB. Hitting second in the order. Chuck Nasty on second base. Martinez with the pitch. Way outside. Blackman's going to try and get third, and he gets thrown out. We are too aggressive on the base pass with Blackman. Had him thrown out at home plate in the last video. KB hits this one to deep left field. Could have been a two-run shot, but Blackman got thrown out. KB with a solo shot for the Rockies to put the Rockies up. one nothing here in the first inning. McMahon hitting, hits this one to right field right over Brandon Belt's head. McMahon's going to try and make this a double, and it's going to be successful. Stand-up double for Ryan McMahon. Martinez with the pitch. Crone hits this one right to the left fielder. Carmart with the pitch. Strikes him out to end the inning. Rockies up 1-0 on the KB solo shot. Could have been up to nothing if Blackman didn't get thrown out at first at third base. Connor Joe hitting 400 on the year, five home runs and 13 RBIs. Found himself in the lineup here and hits a deep drive to left field. Connor Joe goes deep, hit two home runs in the last video. Hits another one here against the Giants here in San Francisco. Rockies up two to nothing. Diaz goes back to back, I think. Back to back, Jacks for Joe and Diaz. We are getting lucky here. Typically struggle hitting. We've been doing pretty good, though. Here comes Iglesias, our number nine hitter. Not having himself a great year. He's in 211 with two home runs and 16 RBIs. Decent amount of RBIs, not a good average. Two home runs is kind of what you expect, but Iglesias goes deep. That is the third 
home run of the inning. Rockies are putting on another clinic here against the Giants. That is four to nothing. All oh, solo shots against Carmart. Blackman tries to join the party. Hits this one to deep right field. Jastrzemski dives, misses it. And Blackman heads on into second base safely. Ball one, no Kirk. Just Sally. Giants go ahead and score on a misplay by Charlie Blackman out in the outfield. Probably not going to really touch this Rockies team until after the draft. Once the draft is over, um, which most likely will be in the next video, um, then we're probably going to touch the Colorado Rockies roster, maybe make some moves, see if we can maybe see where we're at after the draft. Um, if we're within striking distance, we might make this team a little bit better and see if we can go ahead and make a push for the playoffs. Um, All-Star break isn't too far away. It's a few months away. Um, so I guess we got a couple months before worrying about that. Um, if we are looking like a postseason squad, potentially, um, or at least in the running for the wild card or the division, um, we're definitely going to try and add some pieces. It's not a bad team. Added Randall Grichuk in the offseason, as well as Chris Bryant. Um, CJ Crone is a pretty good hitter. McMahon. Brandon Rogers. Really, we just I think we just need pitching. Maybe an upgrade at shortstop, although Iglesias has hit us two home runs in the past two games, as far as videos go. Uh, Blackman is a decent right fielder. We might look at our minors as well and see, see what we might have down in the minor league depth. That could potentially help us out as well. Another potential upgrade that the Rockies could make um, at the deadline is maybe a, a, new, a new catcher. Um, we have a potential. Oh, got him at second base. Look at that. Um, they did score on the play, though. 4 2 Rockies now in the bottom third. Um, but yeah, we could potentially add a catcher at the deadline, um, depending on Diaz's performance. And if we think that, maybe Diaz needs to become a backup. Um, Dom Nunez, I, I'm not too sure if I'm, if I'm for him. We got um, pretty good catching prospect in the minors. Can't remember his name though. Um, we'll have to see how he's performing and maybe he's ready for a call up. Um, could be our catcher next season. Um, Diaz hitting, speaking of Diaz and new catcher, hits this one off the um, center field wall for a double. His third on the year. Brandon Rogers is up. Um, Brandon Rogers is somebody who we probably are going to try and keep at second base. Uh, he is under contract for a few years. He's got four years left on his contract. Three of them are arbitration. Really just going to depend on what he can perform for us. Um, Brandon Rogers, though, hitting 279 on the year. Um, pretty good numbers for him. Three home runs and eight RBIs. Um, RBIs could end up going up, but he is in the eighth, eighth hole for the lineup. And it is still kind of early on in the season. Um, as he drives this one to center field, allowing Diaz to tag and take third base. Um, so, yeah, I mean... We have a few potential options, um, and we're going to try and weigh all of our options before the draft, see what we're going to end up needing. I'll probably end up taking the best available players, um, although I've never really been a fan of drafting closers. I know closers are typically the better hand to grab. Um, in the draft, they end up being excellent. But I want a starter. I want a, I want a position player. I don't really want a reliever. Don't get me wrong. This Rockies team do need relievers. And I might draft a closer or reliever in the future. Um, it is now 5-2. to two. Rockies here in the top of the fourth inning. Um, so, yeah, it really just depends. We'll see. Longoria is hitting 478 on the season with runners in scoring position. Goes ahead and picks up an RBI there. And the Rockies go ahead for the for sure out at first base with no chance to get Peterson at home. Score is now 5-3. to three. The pitch to Casale. 
It's one for one of the day. Looks like Joey Bart is riding the pine today. Casale hits that one. Scorched past the in the infielders. Heads over to Bryant for a single. Brandon Crawford's up. The pitch. Hits this one to deep right field. This one's not going to be a home run, but it is off the wall. Crawford gets a double on that one. Casale with his 14 speed can't advance to home. And the Giants are potentially in business. Duggar looking for two RBIs to tie the game. And he probably, I think he got it. Richard's going to go ahead and throw home, see if he's got a chance at home. And the game is tied. Bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. The Rockies are having some trouble. We're going to go ahead and warm up um, another pitcher. We might be looking at Daniel Bard and Ben Bowden again. But Cool has gotten himself in some trouble here in the fourth inning, giving up three runs on the inning. Caught by CJ Crone to end the inning. Rockies head to the top of the fifth inning, tied five to five. Both teams have nine hits. The pitch from Cobb and an absolute blast from Randall Grichuk. Solo shot for Grichuk. His, his ninth on the year. Congratulations, Randall Grichuk. Gives the Rockies a six to five lead. Connor Joe up, swings at a ball, pretty much in the dirt. Connor Joe looking to potentially give some insurance. Hits that one on a liner to the shortstop. Brandon Crawford for the catch. Rockies get one run on the solo shot from Randall Grichuk. They're up six to five, headed to the bottom of the seven. The pitch, that one's gonna get through Iglesias. Grichuk is gonna try and go home. And a terrible throw and a very late throw from Grichuk. It is all tied up six to six. Diaz is three for three on the day. It's that one to the second baseman, Tommy LaStella, for out number one. Brennan Rogers has been struggling today. He's 0 for three. Hits this one to deep left field. And that one is gone. Another solo shot on the day for the Rockies as they now lead it. Eight to seven. Camillo Duvall is in the game. He's hit, he's at 14 innings, 10 games, 2-0 record, a .64 ERA. Looks like he's having a fantastic season. Could be a target for the Rockies. My mistake, I did say 8-7. to seven. It is 7-6 to six here in the top of the eighth inning. Rockies head to Trevor Rosenthal here in the bottom of the eighth inning as they lead it. Rosenthal on the years has over 9.1 innings, a .96 ERA, seven holds. He's got no one one record, over 10 appearances. Ruff is 0-3 on the day, looking for 0 for 4, and he hits this one and gives it. The Giants tie it here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Rosenthal has been looking good. We were thinking about making him the closer. It gives up the run. It is now tied 7-7. Seven 2-0 seven. from Duvall. Hits this one to deep left field. That one is out of here. Rockies lead it 8-7. Alex Colme is warming up and ready for the save. Giants go to Jarlin Garcia. 5.1 innings, 1.69 ERA. Two strikeouts and two walks over six appearances on the year. Alex Colome coming in with a 10.61 ERA over 9.1 innings. He is seven for seven on saves in 12 games. Doesn't have much of a lead, so he does have to limit the scoring. The pitch to Duggar. Swings and misses for strike one. Duggar's four for four on the day. Colome looking to limit the damage. The 0-2 to Duggar. 
Hits this one to the shortstop Iglesias for out number one. Brandon Bell, the captain, coming up for the Giants here in the ninth inning with one out. It's that one foul. Oh, oh for four on the day. Looking for his first hit. The 0 2 count. Bryant gets under this one for out number two. Rockies looking for the third out. Mike Yastrzemski comes up to the plate. Hitting one for four on the day. Colome has been struggling recently, but he is, for, is seven for seven on the year. Richuk gets this one hit and hit by Yastrzemski. The 1-1 to Lastella. Lastella hits this one to Blackman. Looking for out number three. And this is going to end it. The Colorado Rockies beat the Giants in game one of this three-game set. They win it. Eight to seven. Quite the slugfest for both teams today. A lot of home runs. Colome gets the save. Rosenthal gets the win. Duvall gets the loss. After today's game, the Colorado Rockies are in second place behind the San Diego Padres. Padres are 21 and 15 on the year. Rockies are 18 and 17, surpassing the Dodgers, um, who are 17 and 17. We are two and a half games back. Dodgers are three games back. Giants are now 16 and 19, four and a half games back. And the Diamondbacks are still in last place, 12 and 24. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, as I enjoyed making it. Um, we are going to be heading into episode four and most likely is going to be draft day. Um, we got 22 days until the draft. Um, we're probably going to look to play one game, potentially against Pittsburgh or the Nationals. Um, might head home and maybe face the Miami Marlins. Um, and then we got draft day. Draft day is on June 2nd of 2022. We're looking for some good studs. But... That's going to be all for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy episode three. Three? Episode three of the um, Colorado Rockies franchise, where in the next video we are going to go ahead and start the draft. Hopefully we get it a good piece and head into um, draft day prepared and ready to get some good future Rockies as well. We might be making some moves. We might see if we can maybe trade. Alex Colomay had a pretty bad year. Might be looking for a closer. Um, we are 18 and 17 on the year. We are in striking distance. It is still early in the season. But you never know. We got 22 days till draft day. Till the next one. Peace out. Yeah.